Hey everyone, it's BTP Joe here and today we are at the Old Castle View site situated down Maple Avenue and we've been given this opportunity luckily to take a look around the old building and we're also joined by a previous head teacher Russell Sullivan. So Russell, uh, how are you finding the site? Well first of all thank you Joe and uh, Beyond the Point for inviting me along to, to take a trip down memory lane. Uh, yes, I was uh, head teacher here for 13 years, uh, joined in 1997 and uh, retired in uh, 2010. And I have to say, you know, those 13 years as head here uh, bring back lots of very, very pleasant memories. Um, and walking around the site, uh, yeah, a bit sad to see it a bit overgrown, but I suppose that's inevitable. So you was here for 13 years as a head teacher. Yes. Yeah. It's obviously changed so much now, now that it's abandoned. Yeah. Is it quite sad to see it in this state? Well, I suppose it is, yes. Uh, I mean, over the 13 years, added to the, uh, the site quite, quite a lot as the school grew. Um, and when it became clear that we were going to uh, have the opportunity to have a new school um, and that it was best not to be built on this site, that it would take over the old Frederick Park site, I suppose it was inevitable that uh, once this site was abandoned and uh, everybody moved down the road, that uh, there were going to be um, aspects of it that, that started to look a bit tatty and yeah yeah it, it does. <laughs> so what was the reason of moving to a new school in a different location rather than sort of updating this site? Right well I think uh, logistically it just wasn't possible. Um, the, uh, the planners who came in uh, realised that uh, there had to be a reduction in the number of schools and so one site had to go and it was felt that uh, a brand new build, 28 million pound build, in the centre of Canby Island would suit the community far better and that logistically it was far easier to build the sort of building that we want down there in the town centre rather than try and convert this site. So do you know how many people roughly this building held? Well yeah we uh, had um, when I left I think 140 staff mm -hmm. and the uh, pupil numbers were around about a thousand mark. Should we go and have a look around the site then? Yeah please. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, uh, the school uh, grew in stages and before I arrived in 1997 uh, Castle School became what was known as a grant maintained school and secured extra funding for a capital build which was spent on this block, a maths block. Uh, Simon Weston, the, uh, the Falklands War hero, was uh, a good friend of the school and he came along and opened it and it was known from then on as the uh, Simon Weston maths block. years that uh, I was at the school, music became one of the many strengths of the school. It grew uh, year on year, uh, especially in terms of the technology that was being used. Very, very popular amongst the pupils and uh, it was clear that we needed to really expand the music accommodation. They were in two very cramped classrooms at the front of the school. So it was in about 2007 that we decided to build these new <coughs> um, uh, purpose-built three, four uh, music classrooms which had all the techn technology put in and proved very, very popular amongst the, the pupils for the, the next six years until the school closed. Well, it was about uh, 2005 that the school applied to become a specialist science college and uh, we recognised that we needed uh, a lot more capacity in, uh, in the, the shape of science labs. Uh, so as part of a building programme, we managed to secure the funding for a new gymnasium and uh, two new science labs which were built here on the back of the existing science department. Um, yeah, it created about nine months of pretty drastic uh, disruption for the school, but well worth it. And those science labs were used right up until the time the school closed in 2012.
here we have a fascinating collection of Castle View School memorabilia, and that's thanks to Jack Telly, who was the very first head at Castle View School. We've got newspaper articles, old school photos, and even this, an ashtray made by the very first art teacher at school. Now, if you're on the point, we have exclusive access to all of this collection, and we're going to be taking a look through it. Castle View School opened in 1980 as the third secondary school on the island. Joining Thurwick Park and Cornelius Vermoyden, the £2.4 million school was built and opened due to increased pupil numbers on the island. Upon the school opening, one year group was admitted at a time, starting with 150 Year 7 pupils, who were then known as the first year. There were 10 teachers, averaging classes at about 15 students each, although within five years the school was expected to hold about 900 children. The head teacher who opened the school was Jack Telling, who came from a Colchester school where he was deputy head for six years. This ashtray was made around 1983 by the very first head of art, Linda Cope. A number of these were made and sold to parents to raise money for the school funds something that if would have been done today, would have caused an uproar. This photo from the District News shows what many teenagers today would describe as prehistoric computers. However, the caption describes Castleview School as having the most modern computer department in the county, with pupils very well advanced in modern and most important technology. Other articles describe the school as futuristic, with touches of electronic wizardry. This newspaper article from the Evening Echo in 1982 was kept by Jack Tenning. It explains about a digital revolution in the 80s with jargon such as software and hardware, something that is very familiar today. The building was designed by County Hall architect David Schreiber and was built in only 18 months. It had been planned to be built in three phases, although only two of these stages ended up being constructed. With only one year starting at a time, the building work didn't prove too intrusive to pupils or staff. The main block was built first, with the block opposite following in the coming years. It was the main block that was described as Space Age due to it being solar heated as the heat of the sun would warm up the building. In February 1981, a year after it opened, the school was officially opened. This photo shows the chairman of the Essex County Education Committee, Councillor Cyril Moles, unveiling a plaque in the school hall. Sitting down is Reverend Tim Stevens, who was a vicar of Canvey at the time. In 1999, he was appointed the Bishop of Leicester and is now one of the most senior bishops in the Church of England. In addition to tracking down the very first head teacher of the site, Beyond the Point has also managed to track down some of the very first students. Karen Dakin Woodbury was in the second year of students here at the school and remembers how great it was to learn in an environment so technologically advanced. So much so that Castleview even appeared on the TV. Despite this though, Karen also remembers jealousy from students at other schools as this brand new site was so advanced. Karen also remembers how friendship lasts as over 30 years later she is still friends with the head girl of her year, Kerry Starling. Kerry also remembers how great it was to learn at this site, especially with facilities so great, for example the music department and hockey pitch. In 1986, Jack Telling left the school after six years of running it, becoming the head of St Martin's School in Brentwood. Taking over from him was Eileen Simmons, the next head teacher at Castle View. The third phase of building the school was due to be a gymnasium, although this never materialised, most likely due to cut in funding. Twenty years on, and this plan finally became a reality, at the same time as two new state-of-the-art science labs were introduced. The second head teacher, Eileen Simmons, stayed until 1997, when a new head teacher arrived at the school. Russell Sullivan, who you saw earlier in this video, was the head teacher when I started. Russell joined Castleview School in 1997, the day after the nation learnt of Princess Diana's death. 
Upon arriving at the start of a new term, students and staff were shocked by her death. And Russell's first assemblies at the school that week started with a minute's silence in memory of the princess. After over 13 years of running the school, Russell retired from Castleview in 2010, handing the school over to the current head teacher, Jill Thomas. Russell had started planning for the brand new state of the art school and it was Jill Thomas who oversaw the finalisation of these plans and also the transition into their new building. In December 2011, students, including myself, had an extended Christmas break while the staff packed up and moved their belongings into a brand new £28 million build half a mile away in the centre of Canvey Island. So there we are, a look into the history of Castleview School. Just a school for some, but for others, this site holds so many memories to them. Castleview have now relocated to their new site, with this site being left empty. Although the future of this building is uncertain, it could be demolished or it could be kept. To find out more about your local history, visit beyondthepoint.co.uk.